This is the second narrated presentation for Module 8, Evolution. Are you ready to get started? Different evolutionary processes that shape the adaptation and evolution of populations are discussed during this module presentation. These processes involve how to overcome barriers to reproduction. Microevolution is defined by a change in allele frequencies from one generation to the next. An example of microevolution is sexual selection, such as when a female peahen will breed with the male peacock with the most brilliant plumage. Natural selection can lead, can lead to microevolution and has sometimes been referred to as Survival of the fittest. In natural selection, particular phenotypic traits give an advantage to an individual that allows it to produce more offspring than other individuals. Remember, this violates an assumption of Heidi Weinberg equilibrium. A phenotypic trait like fast speed can help an organism survive longer and re reproduce longer. Over time, the common traits in a population will represent the best traits for survival and reproduction of individuals. Genetic drift describes shifts in allelic frequency over time due to reasons other than natural selection. A bottleneck effect may occur where only a small portion of individuals of a species survive. Bottleneck events are characterized by a decrease in diversity and heterozygote frequency above that predicted by the Hardy-Weinberg equation. A founder effect occurs when a small group of individuals begin a new population. The frequencies of the new population will reflect the frequencies of the founders, not the frequencies predicted from the original population. Gene flow occurs when allelic frequency changes due to a migration event between populations, such as birds flying from one flock to another. Macroevolution occurs as a result of two populations turning into separate species as a result of many microevolutionary events. The modern synthesis of evolution describes that all living organisms originated from a single organism. Species may be defined in different ways. Most commonly, species is defined as a population of individuals able to breed with one another and produce viable, fertile offspring. That definition is known as the biological species concept. The morphological species concept is based on phenotypic characteristics. The ecological species concept is based on ecological roles in a community. The phylogenetic species concept is based on the genetic ancestry of an organism. An organism must reproduce in order for its genes to be passed on in a gene pool. Barriers are classified as prezygotic barriers, which prevent zygote formation or post-zygotic barriers which prevent the zygote from surviving and or reproducing. The first prezygotic barrier is habitat isolation. This refers to two populations isolated by the location of where they live. As you can see in the example, if two frog species both live in the same forest, but one species lives in the treetops, and the other species lives predominantly on the ground, these two species will likely not interact enough to reproduce and will therefore experience habitat isolation. Another type of prezygotic barrier is temporal isolation. Temporal isolation occurs when different populations reproduce at different times so the population's gene pools never mix. A third type of prezygotic behavior is behavioral isolation. Behavioral isolation occurs when populations exhibit different reproductive behaviors. 
This example discusses special dances that signify reproductive interest in members of the opposite sex, but of the same species. However, if a species is not familiar with the reproductive dance of another species, it may mistake these behaviors as aggression, for example. A fourth type is mechanical isolation. Mechanical isolation describes the situation where individuals of different populations cannot reproduce due to physical differences of reproductive systems. In the example on this slide, the two species of moth appear virtually identical and will attempt to mate, but lock together. As a result of this, both will die. The last type of prezygotic barrier discussed is gametic isolation. Gametic isolation arises when gametes of individuals of different populations are incompatible and cannot form a zygote. For example, the gametes of two species of sea urchin are released into the open ocean, but their gametes are unable to fuse. The first post-zygotic barrier is reduced hybrid viability. In reduced hybrid viability, the zygotes that are formed have difficulty surviving. A hybrid with reduced hybrid viability may develop a heart defect that is usually fatal, for example. Reduced hybrid fertility occurs when offspring of different populations are infertile and cannot reproduce. Mules, the offspring of donkeys crossed with horses, cannot reproduce because of reduced hybrid fertility. The last type of post-zygotic barrier we will discuss is hybrid breakdown. Hybrid breakdown is characterized when the hybrid offspring are born with poor health and do not survive to reproduction. The offspring lives for five years opposed to the typical species lifespan of 30 years would be an example of hybrid breakdown. This is a review of the various microevolutionary and macroevolutionary processes that lead to speciation of populations.